love is appreciation and appreciation is pure positive focus so unconditional love is unconditional positive focus but how many of us can genuinely focus positive on someone that hurts us or when we're in war making ourselves to be unconditionally loving when we're not yet there is also asking ourselves to pretend to lie to ourselves and strips away our authenticity unconditional love cannot be forced or achieved through self-shaming instead is a process of expanding our perspective and cultivating genuine positive emotions and i think it starts with ourselves not with the world around us so how can we let go of that self-judgment that we all have and these unrealistic expectations and comparing ourselves to unattained destinations which only highlight or our perceived shortcomings and inhibits our ability to love ourselves unconditionally if we can be kind to ourselves and acknowledge that we are where we are in the journey and unconditional love won't mean subjecting ourselves to painful situations or sacrificing our own well-being for the sake of others it's about fostering growth both for ourselves and others and if we allow ourselves to stay in abusive situation we're not unconditionally loving towards ourselves and remember that part of caring about someone is about fostering their growth so making sure that the other is always emotionally comfortable and preventing them from experiencing pain or the consequences of their actions is the same as denying them growth. Remember, our love is limited if our perspective is limited. So to expand our perspective, we can question our thoughts instead of blindly believing them and focus on whatever makes us feel relief. And if you feel fear, relief might be an angry thought. And if you feel anger, a relief maybe a pessimistic thought so trust your emotions and let yourself think those thoughts without judging whether they're good or bad thoughts to have if you're the one who can control how you feel by controlling what you focus on about another person then your emotional state is no longer dependent on what that other person does or doesn't do your love and thus positive focus towards them is not conditional upon something they're doing. Once we take charge of our own emotions and stop relying on others to dictate them, we can start thinking thoughts and focus on things that deliberately make us feel better. And only when we feel ready, we'll start to see the world from the eyes of the others. And then we can understand their perspective, which will expand our perspective. And when our perspective grows, our love will naturally grow. So the art of detachment does not mean uh, apathy. It means taking responsibility for our own emotional well-being. How we see love at the moment is more like attachment than love. And if you're attached to them, it becomes important to control the other person, how they act in order for us to be happy. If they must change to make us happy, then we're not unconditionally loving them yet so learning detachment lifelong endeavor but the more we detach the more we can truly love and to love someone is to take them as part of ourselves and it's quite love it's quite easy to love a young kitten or a baby or something that's lovable to us but we're quite powerless if we can only love someone of, on the condition of them behaving in a certain way that seems lovable to us so the first step of detachment is to admit we are attached that we feel powerless to other people because our happiness does seem to be at the mercy of what they do or don't do and what happens to the world around us so if we say to them this part of you makes me feel good about you and these parts of you make me feel bad about you so I need you to make the parts that feel bad about you go away so that I can feel good when I look at you. Not necessarily loving thing. <laughs> so unconditional love is to say I am responsible for how I feel. I trust myself to focus on you in a way where I'm paying attention to the things that make me feel good about you. So the way that I feel is not conditioned upon what you do. And this process of understanding 
that we're capable of loving regardless of the conditions. So how do we become more loving? By growing our perspective, by becoming more aware of what we're not currently aware of. So diving into our subconscious, because the subconscious is what we don't know that we don't know. And then have an openness and expand our awareness where it can be as simple as compassion exercise where you put yourself in someone else's shoes or meditation or psychedelic plant medicine, which is legal here in Holland, where you can engage in meditation or you can speak to a psychologist and become more aware of your own unconscious mind. And, and then you learn to see things from a different perspective. So there's countless paths that lead to unconditional love. And we all must find our own way there, guided by self-compassion and emotional awareness and attention to align with the love that resides within us. And remember, the better it gets, the better it gets. <laughs>